The following program is rated TV PG. Some scenes may be too scary for younger children. We suggest watching together as a family. Dude, what's wrong with your brother? How much time do you have? He's been sitting there for an hour. I don't even think he's breathing. Ignore him, he gets like this whenever he's waiting for a delivery. What kind of delivery? A toy? What else? The online tracker said you'd be here by one. You're 42 minutes late. I don't appreciate your lack of respect for the sanctity of the buyer-shipper relationship. Dude, what's in the box? It's just some lame old toy from the Dark Ages. It's not just another toy. It's the toy, a vintage Robo Bear. See, a teddy bear. Blame. And what something like that cost? I got a good deal. Five thousand. Five thousand. You spent your car money? Dude, Mom's gonna kill you. This is way cooler than a car. Behold, I give you. Mangler! More like mangled. <laughs> Collectors go forever without seeing one of these. It's the rarest of the rare. Of course, I would have loved to have its original display box, but that would have cost me a lot more than $5,000. You can bet on that. Aren't you a little old to be playing with stuffed animals? I'm not playing with it. I'm collecting it. Which means you two cretins aren't allowed to play with it either. Who would want to? Yeah, I mean, that's nasty. Go back to your plebeian video games and leave me alone. Get out. Out. Hey, uh, do you think you could take us to the mall for lunch? No. I'm hungry. Mom left you in charge. So you're completely helpless? Yes. Feed me. <clears throat> Go away. Go check the fridge. Go to Jason's house or something. How's your teddy bear, Ted? I just heard that Teddy loves teddy bears. Are you giving it a bath? That's so weird and sad. What's sad is your complete lack of intelligence. This is the holy grail of toy collecting. It's an epic find. From 1982 to 1984, Robo Bears was the number one rated animated show on TV. Set in 3082 in a world where evil robots have taken over and humanity's last hope is this heroic band of cyber bears to protect them from the cold, heartless machines that enslaved them. In season two, they introduced Mangler, a double agent who claims to fight for good, but really he fights for the machines. He was an instant fan favorite, spawned a huge line of toys. Here, look at this. Cheesy, right? <sighs> Anyways, shortly after Mango hit the shelves, people started dying. Dying? Yeah. They scared people to death. Literally. Kids who had the bear got in accidents and a few of them died. They never linked the deaths directly to Mangler, but parents boycotted the Robo Bears and due to public pressure, they recalled Mangler. A couple years ago, a few servers on the collector's market. There are seven 
left in circulation. I have one of them. Don't use the flash! The harsh light can damage the fur. You get out! Get out now! <laughs> Go! <laughs> I've searched forever for a mangler and I will do anything to keep him in mint condition. Anything. Mark? What's going on? Something attacked Jason. His mom found him with all these scratches and he won't talk. Like he's in shock. What do they think happened? I don't know, the paramedics said it looked like an animal attack, but Jason's mom said all the doors were locked. Well, maybe they missed one. No, she's obsessed with home security. No animal could have gotten in there. At least not a normal one. Remember what you told us yesterday? About how the kids who play with Mangler, they got hurt? If you're saying Mangler came to life, got out of his case, and went across the street and attacked Jason? Yeah, I guess that's what I'm saying. Then you're nuts. Then how do you explain this? Jason dropped this before he got in the ambulance. 
This is from your stupid prank! I knew you guys damaged his manga when you took him out yesterday. Ted, don't touch that thing. There's something wrong about it. Like, evil wrong. I just told you an urban legend so you would leave him alone. Clearly it didn't work. What if it's true? You, know, you said some kids died. I mean, what if Mangler tried to kill Jason? Not possible. No, no, get out. Check its claws. Please. <laughs> blood. See blood. This is paint. Or food coloring. Uh, you and Jason think you guys are so clever. No, Ted, we wouldn't do that. Life was so much easier when I was an only child. You have to get rid of him. No, I have to clean it. And you have to leave. I don't want you to ever touch my stuff ever again. We didn't touch your bear, I swear, okay? Jason's in the hospital. Even he wouldn't go that far for a prank. The bear's a sociopath. I'm not gonna prove it. Wet? Get it away from my desk! That's the address of the woman you bought Mangler from. Let's go talk to her. Are you nuts? I can't go to her house. Do you know anything about internet auction etiquette? People ship things for a reason. So crazy people like you don't show up to their homes. Maybe she knows something. Maybe she sold Mangler because he was bad. Maybe she... Maybe she knew she had a gold mine and wanted some cash. Just drive me there. Drive yourself. I don't even have my learners. And you're in charge, remember? Look, I just want to ask this woman why she sold Mangler. Find out if anything strange happened while she owned it. And if I'm wrong, I won't talk about that dumb bear for the rest of my life. I mean, never talk again for the rest of your life, period. Fine. Good. Yes? Uh, hi. Hi, ma'am. I'm Mark. This is my brother, Ted. He recently bought a stuffed teddy bear online. I packed that thing well. If it got damaged, it's the courier's fault. Besides, the listing said no refunds. Oh, no, no, we're not looking for a refund. I, I wouldn't sell Mangler for anything. Well, I mean, if you were just wondering, he's such a rare collectible. Why would you sell him? It belonged to my brother, but we needed the money. Could we talk to him? No. Since it's his... Please, I mean, we'll be quick. He's just... dead. Uh, do you mind if we ask how he died? Uh, it was an animal attack. At least that's what the police concluded, which is weird, because he never left his room. Too busy obsessing over his toys. I'd say, did you get the groceries? He'd say, no. I got a new action figure. All right. Uh, sorry to waste your time. I <clears throat> called him a hoarder, so he started hiding them from me. Now I keep finding them in the pantry, under the bed, behind the TV. Thanks. Have a good day. Toys, toys, toys everywhere. We started selling them to pay for the funeral. Casket alone cost 4000 Did he say anything was weird about Mangler? Like, supernatural weird? What do you mean? Well, I think he hurt my friend. And maybe even your brother. You're an unpleasant child. Look, if you're not telling us everything, we... you can go now. Did your brother have scratches on his face? Leave me alone. This is why you follow internet auction etiquette. Mangler killed that guy, Ted. If you keep him, he's gonna kill us too. you destroyed that thing yet. I told you to go to bed. I, I can't sleep with that thing in the house. He's not gonna hurt us. Are you sure? Fine. But only because you're nervous, I'll put him in the garage.
Thanks. And I did, and, and, and you did this? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I woke up and it was on me. Not possible. You set this up, and now you owe me $5,000. Are you listening to me? You can spend the next 10 years of your life paying me back. Look, I'm not imagining this, okay? Maybe we're both imagining this. Oh, Mom goes away for one weekend and we both lose our minds? I've heard of this. It's called mass hysteria. What will it take for you to believe me? That'll do. Uh, uh, where'd it go? It got loose in the house. Hold on. Where is he? I don't know. There he is. I missed. Yeah, you think? Ted, look. Oh, great. He went in Mom's scrapbooking room. Oh. But you were right about this bear. Can toys have rabies or something? I don't know. I don't know how to kill an evil sub teddy bear. Well, we, we could have a set. I mean, that's what you do with werewolves, right? Well, that's what they did in the 1967 horror classic, A Wolf Within, but it was a little bit of a breach of werewolf lore since typically you need a silver bullet. People argued that because the dagger was dipped in the wolf's bane that it made sense, but the argument still rages. Vampires need wooden stakes. Uh, zombies have to be stabbed in the brain, but... I don't know. Honestly, there isn't any empirical data, fictitious or otherwise, on how to kill a stuffed teddy bear. Okay, but the longer you talk, the angrier it gets. I'm just saying, this is a completely new territory. We've got to do something. We can cut off his head. Okay. I should be the one to do it since I'm the geek that got us into this mess. All right. On my count, move out of the way of the door. One, two, 
three. Now! What do we do now? I don't know. I can try and resell it, though, recoup some of the money. But isn't it still dangerous? Mark, we cut off its head. It's a shame. Severed head really lowers the resale value. Harmless, why are we doing this? Better safe than sorry. He's half robot, he's half man. You'll break your heart, then he won't care. Mangler. He's the meanest robo bear. Thank you.